Welcome to episode two of Pregnancy Talk and Styling the Bump. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about week 32 of pregnancy, specifically the overall symptoms of the week versus the one I experienced. And also I want to talk specifically about weight gain during pregnancy, what I'm doing to stay on track, healthy, keep my baby healthy. While I do that, I'm going to do my makeup with you guys to get ready. I think we're going uh, to get ice cream later. So yeah, we can chat. All right, I already applied my primer, which is not really a primer, it's a sunscreen, it's a matte sunscreen, SPF 40 from Supergoo. Let's start reading the notes. According to the Bump app, which is the app that I like to use as a guidance, baby is the size of a squash and it measures around 16 inches, almost four pounds in weight. That's exciting. So the general symptoms for the week, according to the app are Braxton, Hicks contractions, darker nipples, shortness of breath, heartburn, leaky boobs, and vaginal discharge. From all these symptoms, I only experienced Two during week 32 which was actually last week for me now i am 33 weeks pregnant for the vaginal discharge uh what i'm doing for that is basically i use a panty liner which i change often and also i do that with my underwear uh whenever i'm home for example that was actually recommended by my doctor she said like it's best to keep yourself dry as much as possible to keep away any infections or anything like that and for the heartburn it's not often but once i get it it is very painful what i'm doing for that is keep an eye on the foods that I eat basically I now need to eat smaller meals because I do like to eat my big meal I love to eat the difference with this pregnancy and my first one basically my first pregnancy I had heartburn throughout my second trimester almost every day and throughout my third trimester as well so this one has been kind of like Hmm, generous. All right, I do have some symptoms that are not mentioned uh, on the app. I have been feeling light, nauseous. Again, you know, kind of like a throwback. First trimester all over again. But it's not that bad. It's only kind of like at night when I lay down. I just stay in bed, don't move, kind of like chill. And it usually goes away. So at least, right? I am also having hot flashes. I believe it's a pregnancy. I don't know. Because now it's getting a little cooler, the weather here in Florida. So I should be feeling better. Instead, I'm feeling like really, really hot. But even after shower, what I'm doing for that pretty much is just I'm trying to eat cold foods. I have been snacking tons of ice morning, afternoon, night. So that's been helping kind of like a little bit. So that was for the symptoms. I feel like this uh, third trimester, all the symptoms are pretty much the same. Kind of like no big deal. Mm, some of them, you know. Now let's move on to weight gain during pregnancy. So for me, it's kind of like a big deal. Not like for me. Like I really don't care if I gain weight. What I do care is about my baby's weight. I want to keep my baby baby in a normal way because I am a petite girl I am five feet tall I won't be able to push a big baby and I do want a natural uh, delivery one of the way of doing that you know keep the baby in a healthy way I have here a general guide for gaining weight during pregnancy they are pretty much the same online you can just search on Google like pregnancy weight chart and you will find it I am in the normal weight range I started the pregnancy with a BMI of 21.3 to be exact so far I have gained around 17 pounds which is uh, not even the minimum but I will definitely hit those 25 pounds I still have a month or so to go I weigh myself every single day for that I like to use kind of like a scale that comes with an app you can find them on Amazon just search for like digital scale with app I started tracking my weight when I was trying to conceive if I don't look at those numbers I'm not gonna have any idea of how I'm doing how much weight I'm gaining it's kind of like the only way I can track my eating i am a person that is constantly snacking i need to keep myself on track so waiting myself every day or every other day is a way of doing that so for example if i see that the number in the scale went up like more than it should have for that week i usually tend to add extra 30 minutes of walking for the next two or three days kind of thing and of course i start limiting again what i'm eating but i'm gonna tell you what i have been eating what has been helping me to keep myself on track i have two type of breakfast either a green smoothie with powerful seeds, spinach, and fruits. Or the one I've been liking the most is basically two slices of toast. I like to add like almond cream cheese, two slices of cheese, and a spinach omelette. So an hour after breakfast, I usually, almost every day, take a one hour walk with my son, with my toddler. It is a very, very slow walking. Of course, I'm with a toddler. For lunch, I try to add any grains, let's say quinoa, beans, black beans, lentils 
guilt, something like that so I can stay full for longer. Two hours after lunch, I do like to eat chocolate, healthy, not healthy. For the healthy version of chocolate, I like to get the lint one. Usually I buy 75 to 86% cocoa. I tend to eat like one, two or three pieces, you know, to keep myself satisfied. Not big deal, really. Sometimes instead of the chocolate, if I don't have any, I like to eat kind of like a cup of rich yogurt and I add a spoon of peanut butter or almond butter, whatever I have. All right, and finally for dinner, I have been eating like a cold snack board sort of thing. I've been adding like slices of cucumber with slices of tomatoes, palm heart, everything cold. Now that I've been having those cold flashes, I've been, you know, wanting and craving only cold foods at night, you know? And I have been craving ice. It's been great, zero calories. And after I eat that dinner, so I tend to kind of like eat a couple of tostones or a couple of popcorn. Let's say if I have ice cream in my fridge, I will eat the ice cream and I don't have control for the ice cream. So from now on, I decided not to get any ice cream. Working from home, it's just it's really hard not to <laughs> snack on healthy things. All right, I'm almost done. I'm gonna finish this and I'm going to show you what I'm gonna wear to style the bump. Before I do that though, let me go to the last thing that I have been doing to keep my way on track. It's basically I have been measuring my belly, making sure that my fondant high is on track, you know, in a good range and all that. All right, I'm ready. I'll show you my outfit in a minute. I'm realizing that I really cannot multitask, like talk while I do my makeup. Jeez, I don't even remember if I miss anything. Okay, so hopefully it's fine. I'm only going for an ice cream, so no big deal. Okay, so I know it's a little awkward and weird because this is horizontal YouTube, you know, but this is pretty much my outfit, just snake print leggings, which are actually by my brand. Familiarities, you wanna check them out. This has been one of my favorite outfits, high-waisted leggings. These are not maternity and I have been loving these crop tops from Amazon. I have them in four colors. They are, I think like $20. They look kind of like super cute, trendy, and they're not maternity, so you can wear them postpartum. And I'm going to put these pink earrings. All right, so a quick recap of the episode. We talk about week 32 of pregnancy, the overall symptoms versus the one I experienced, which kind of shows you that every single pregnancy is freaking different. Also, I share with you kind of like my journey with weight gain during pregnancy. And honestly, I feel that I have been doing pretty good. I feel like I am on track with my weight for sure i will hit the minimum of weight that i should be gaining which is 25 pounds but i'm not gonna hit the 35 which is kind of like the maximum i share with you that i do like to weigh myself kind of like the main thing that is keeping me on track and i like to also measure my fondle height so yeah i hope you guys like this episode uh see you guys next time